all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Inshallah, one to the elect. All right. I'm going to be in the ninth psalm for my lesson today. Starting out at verse 1, it says, and this is a psalm of King David. It says, I will praise thee, O Yahweh, with my whole heart, my whole mind. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. And that's, that's what the elect are doing right now. That's what the prophets are doing. We're showing all the marvelous works of Yahweh Bashem Yosha. We're teaching our people. You know, we're teaching them about salvation. We're teaching them the true names. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're teaching them that, the, the, that there's balance. There's duality with the Heavenly Father. You see? You can love. You can hate. You know? You've been brought up in captivity. You've been taught oh, you you can only love, and that's a trap because these these heathen these these Edomites they didn't show us love. They're still really not showing us love. You see, but they want you to love them. Verse two, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou Most High. All right, so you got to know the name to sing praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's names. How, how do you sing praise if you don't know the names? Or how are you putting praise if, you, if you're calling them, uh, you know, names that are not their names, you know? Like God, which is just a title. And Jesus, which is a lie. All right? Verse 3. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou saddest in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name forever and ever. Put out their name forever and ever. Put them out of what? Put them out of this congregation. Put them out of this truth. This is not for the heathen. All right? This is not, the Bible is not for the heathen, which is, means nations. And it means nations outside of the tribes of Israel. Verse 6. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. And it's going to come to an ultimate destruction when Yahweh Bashem Yahshai visits the earth. Okay? Verse 7. But Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yeah, he's going to judge this place in righteousness. You're going to see people put to death on a huge scale. And some people, are they don't understand the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. So when they see the destruction, when they see all the death around them, they're going to freak out. They're going to lose their minds. They're not going to understand that that's righteousness. It's, they don't understand righteousness. They don't know that it's, it's righteous to kill the wicked. You know, because they've been taught that everybody can be saved. Everybody can, you know, nobody's, um, you know, going to perish. They've been taught lies. So th their mindset is, is, is upside down. Verse 8. And shall, I'm sorry, verse 9. And Yahweh or Yahweh will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble. Right, because... The times of trouble is going to speak of Jacob's trouble. This tells you that we're going to be saved out of it, right? Psalm, or you know what? Let me grab uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the day, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So we're going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. We're going to be saved out of the oppression. We're being saved from the enemy. And the enemy is Esau Edom, the physical enemy in the flesh, 
who he has the spirit of of wickedness, the spirit of Satan on him, because he's Satan manifested in the flesh, okay? The so-called white man. He's the one who's going to, you know, try to, he's going to try to kill us. <laughs> but Yahweh is going to save the oppressed. He's going to be our refuge in the time of trouble, all right? Isaiah 45, 17, But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. You see? We're going to be saved. If you believe this truth, you have to believe the truth. You have to, you have to have hearken. You have to hearken to the Lord's prophets. Hearken to the Lord. Hearken to His mouth. His prophets are His mouth. He puts His words in our mouth. All right, Psalm 9 and 10. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. All right, <laughs> see what I mean? And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. You can't just call him God. It's not a name. You can't call him Yah, that's not the true name. You can't call him Jehovah, that's a lie. No, you have to call, you have to know the name. Those that know thy name will put their trust in him. See? I have to go on a name rant again. Let's go to uh, John 17, 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So who's kept the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? His prophets. Who's been shown the word? Manifested means shown. Who's been shown the name? The Lord's prophets. The, the, the Lord Yahweh Shai's disciples. He gave us the name. Through the Spirit, we, we have the names. All right? Ecclesiasticus, uh, what is it, 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. You have to know the name. You know, we get on this subject a lot because it's an important thing. It's literally the foundation, the beginning of this truth is knowing the names. All right. What's the other one? Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So if you, you don't know the name, you don't have a strong tower. If you don't know the name, there's nowhere for you to run to be safe. All right? Let me go back to Psalm because, again, this lesson wasn't going to be about the name. But, hey, it pops up through the Spirit. Shows you the importance of the name. Ten. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, hath, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. And that's what we're doing. We're declaring his doings. We're declaring what he's about to do, what he's already done. And he dwells in Zion. Zion's another word for Israel. All right? The praises are only declared among Israelites. These heathen can't praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That's why they're busy praising God and Jesus. Or they're busy praising the Buddha or the Jehovah or the whatever madness they're praising. They're not praising the true names. They're not praising the true power. They're not praising the true creator and, and the son. They're not praising the son. Verse 12. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. And who's the humble? The, the Lord's prophets. The Lord's real prophets. The ones who are set up in, in these last days on the streets of Babylon, America, teaching you. Starting out with GMS, all right? Yes, you have other Hebrew Israelite camps, but there they go off, all right? They have all kinds of, you know, red flags. If, you're, if, you, if the Spirit's dealing with you, you can see the red flags and you can run from that. But if the Spirit's not dealing with you, you're gonna you're gonna miss the red flags, you know. You're gonna you're gonna walk into destruction. You know, you're gonna follow the wrong camp. You're gonna follow the wrong group. 
It's Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai that, that gives mercy on you. All right? Verse 13. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death. Right? Because if you're in a, a, the wrong camp, you're going to be led to the gates of death because you have some of these camps, they're telling you that it's going to be okay for you to take that micro C hip. That micro C hip is going to put you to death. <clears throat> You have some camps that they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. That is going to be a, lead you to the gate of death. You have some camps that that they only believe in the Old Testament. They disregard the New Testament or vice versa. Those type of camps are going to lead you to death. Obviously, the heathen churches are going to lead you to death. I don't even. I shouldn't even have to say that. If you've been watching these lessons, watching my videos, you should already know that these modern pagan tr Christians. Churches, they're going. They enlarge hell. They cause you to err. Okay. Verse uh, fourteen, that I may show forth all the praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. Yeah, because who's going to be rejoicing in the chariot? The men of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. If you don't have this knowledge, if you don't have this truth, if you still think you can just say, "Oh, Jesus Christ is my Savior," and now I'm saved, and you just you think just by saying the name Jesus Christ that you're saved, then you're not going to be praising, you're not going to be praising Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in in the in the gates or when you get salvation, because that's not salvation. Salvation is. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Salvation is when you're up on a chariot. You go up in a so-called UFO and you're delivered or rescued from the World War III, the nuclear fire. Okay, Then you can say you're saved when you're on that chariot in that new body. All right? Verse 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their, is their own foot taken. Right, because you see, part of the pit is the religions, the philosophies, the doctrines. They gave you all these false names. Guess what? They're going to be sunk down in that pit that they made because those, those Jesus Christ is a made up idol. The Christian, the modern Christian church is a made up church, made up doctrine, doctrine of men, doctrine of devils. You people that follow that stuff, you're going to be taken along right along with them. All right, the net which they hid is their own foot taken. That's going to be you if you follow these modern pagan Christian churches. The Lord set up His true church. The Lord set up His men. The Lord, we're in the last days. If you can't see that, then you know you're really blinded. Verse sixteen: Yahweh is known by the judgment which He executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayon silah. Salakia, give me one second. All right, Salakia. I'm over here cooking some meat. I burnt the shit up. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to still eat it because we, Jake, we, we, we ate our meats cooked. All right, verse, uh, where we at? Let's see, 16. Yahweh is known by the judge, his judgment, by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higagion silah. And I've never, I, I guess I've never came across that verse because I've never understood, read that word or remember it. <coughs> Let me look it up. Higagion meaning. It means the murmuring tone of the harp. The word is rendered meditation. So that's what it means, okay? The murmuring tone of the harp is what I looked up, okay? So remember, you play the harp during mourning, during sadness. So we're we're in mourning right now. We're in a time of mourning. So that's that's what that goes into. But remember, we're diligent. We look up words. You know, if you're if you're in this truth, you should be looking up words. If you're studying the Bible, you should be looking these words up. Verse sixteen or seventeen. 
The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget the Most High. For the needy shall not always, always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. And who's the poor? The poor are the Israelites. And who? What's our expectation? Is our expectation is to be delivered, to be delivered from this wicked place, to be delivered from the hands of our enemy. And I can tell you right now, you know, the Lord put the Spirit on men to uh, 